Hi there, Virgo. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of July. Now, I have to tell it as it is, and there is a T-square, one of the harshest of all zodiacal influences, at the start of this week, which involves Saturn, the planet of restriction. If you don't choose your words carefully this week, they could come back to haunt you. And it may be an issue that's rather tender or sensitive, or also relate to a private matter that you want to keep quiet, but somehow or another, other people may get wind of this and want to challenge you about it, and it could be uncomfortable. Also, there could be a sudden impact that you're not expecting on your financial progress, because something comes up that comes out of the blue, and it may be a cost, maybe a renewal on an insurance policy, or some kind of expense can crop up which really puts the mockers on a particular plan that you have at the moment. And unfortunately, your financial situation long term does continue to be a little bit up and down. But it is also opening you up to the potential to be more innovative and open-minded. And the sun in the second half of this week forges a fantastic angle with Uranus, the planet which is causing this turbulence. And the two can actually see you have a eureka moment where you suddenly make a connection which actually can be hugely beneficial. However, that's the more challenging stuff. There's a delicious link between Mars and Venus, and Venus continues in your sign. There may be one friend who you suddenly realise actually means a lot more to you than you'd previously thought. On the other hand, it could be someone that you're introduced to within your social circle that you immediately click with. With Venus also forging a fantastic alliance with Pluto, the people that you really do love and care for, your awareness to, to the benefits of these relationships, the importance of them, can certainly warm up. You just need also to be conscious of the downside of the people who are not so much your supporters. Now there's one influence this week that can go either way, and this goes between Jupiter and Pluto. When Jupiter and Pluto get together, you may be involved with someone in your situation who isn't quite as straightforward and as ethical as they might be. And if you get caught up in their agenda and their stuff, you could actually see you get into trouble too. So continue to be very straight in all that you do. Be mindful of the laws of where you live and also the laws of moral, um, of, of moral uh, legalities, if you like, natural law. And if you do this, you may find yourself spoilt for choice when it comes to friendships. And I definitely think there could be somebody, if you are single, that does start to take on a much greater importance for you, that up until now, you may not necessarily have thought of them as being a romantic material. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck. And goodbye for now.